This one's pretty self-explanatory. You can see the um, the rubbing alcohol when dropped in with a dropper looks kind of like uh, blisters. Now I dropped it in while it was wet though and that's what created those styration patterns. Um, these ones, no, that they were all dropped in while it was still pretty wet. It doesn't move very far. Yeah, the rubbing alcohol, um, regardless of whether it's wet or dry, when it's that's dropped in with a dropper, once again, I want to try a spray bottle, but it just moves the pigment in a circle where it is. So it's kind of neat, probably useful. The watercolor was pretty cool. And I think this has something to do with the viridian and the way that viridian dries almost like plates. Um, like slate plates that move over top of one another because it dried really um, dry, styrated. It was really, um, I, I don't know, rocky. It, it looks pretty cool. Hmm. I love the levels um, that this created in the pigments and the results that I got with this. The, the, what was this, rubbing alcohol? Yeah, it was really fun. It looks really neat. I want to, I want to try it with a spray bottle. You can, you can see what's going to happen, right? You know what kind of videos are coming up after this, where I'm spraying stuff in a spray bottle.